Okay, so we're going to do a pod review on the plant that's back here. And that plant is the 7 pot bubblegum. And I picked off most of the ripe peppers off it already, but there's still quite a few on here. They're just not ripe yet. So if they're on there, just not ripe. And I think we got one there. We got a, one there. Got a couple down here. I'm trying to look for a fully ripened one. You can see down there, there's a few. There's one there. Nice one there. They're not really that ripe yet. Usually I like to get them when they're ripest because that's when they taste best. Here's a ripe one. I had to pull the leaves off. And I, the plants this year just don't want to give the peppers up. I'm almost having to break the whole top of the plant off just to get these peppers this year. It looks like it's all right. No bug damage on this one. So here's a, a typical seven pot of bubble gum. Red. Now these come in many colors. You can get them in white, yellow, purple, I believe. You can get them in uh, orange. You can get them in all different colors now. And this is the red version. This is actually the original seven pot. I bought these seeds probably five years ago when seven pot bubble gum was like pretty relatively pretty new out there as far as being available to the market. So these are the original seeds from that. A lot of the seven pots you're getting now are offsprings of genetic just diversion from it and they're not really that true anymore though this particular variety is true. This is what it looks like. Now these pods do get bigger on this plant and they can get a little bit of a tail on them but this plant for some reason since I've been growing and that's a two-year-old plant now for some reason all the pods that are coming off it are generally like this size at best maybe a little bigger than that and a lot of the pods that were coming off it were very small maybe the size of a, a marble so I'm not sure what's going on with this particular variety of seven pot but it is a true original strain so the genetics should be stabilized so let's get you inside and show you what it looks like in here where it's not getting bleached out by the sun you can see it a little better here you go so as you can see that's what it looks like you can see the calyx on it is bleeding okay typical bubble gum or anytime you hear the word gum used to describe a pepper gum Anytime you hear that word in there, it's referring to this being a different color than it being green. It's usually when you hear gum, this calyx is usually the color of the pepper. So that's usually what that means. Or you hear the term bleeding or bleeding calyx. Anytime you hear those words, that is referring to the cap being a, you know, a, a gum. It's, it's going to be the color of the pepper. All right. So anyway, that's it. Give me one more last look, last look, and let's turn you around. All right, guys, here we are. We are doing another pod review today, and it's going to be on the 7 Pop Bubblegum Red. This is the red version. This is the original version, guys. This is the true version of 7 Pop Bubblegum. There are so many variations of the bubblegum nowadays because everybody's crossbreeding like crazy. Nobody really knows truly where the original 7 Pop Bubblegum is anymore. It's becoming almost extinct. This is the original 7 Pop Bubblegum. You can still get them online. It's just getting harder and harder to locate these because everybody's going to the latest new design in bubblegum design so they're kind of forgetting about the old school stuff which is the, the original stuff like this and they're moving on to all the new fancy colors and stuff that are out there so you know we don't want to forget where our heritage came from and so the original seven pop bubblegum it originally is the first pepper I know of to have a bleeding type calyx on it. I don't know of any other pepper that was doing the bleeding on it. And I bought these seeds basically right around when they first started becoming publicly available and you started hearing about seven pound bubblegums. So it was like four or five years ago and I have grown it on and off throughout the years. And it's a pleasure to grow this pepper because it can be very productive. This particular variety of seven pot bubblegum uh, doesn't make very large pods. But I'd be honest with you, I really don't think you want to eat a very large pod from this thing because it's really one of the hotter ones. It's up there with the brain strain and the butch tea, but I think the brain strain and this are up there in the hotter end of things. 
So without any further ado, let's give it a go. Ooh, that's sweet. What a beautiful taste on this thing. A little bit tangy, though. Whew. I can feel it coming in. It's a creeper heat. It's got the typical scorpion type of... Um, it's got a typical scorpion type flavor to it. It's not... It doesn't taste like a scorpion per se, but it's got that super hot flavor it's just got that kind of flavor that type of fruitiness not tight not habanero really fruity but scorpion type of fruity it's got that flavor to it this one was a little on the tangy side and the heat on this thing is a creeper heat it's coming in like a lion right now whoo it's almost making me gag a little the whole end of my tongue is burning like you wouldn't believe. Whoo, man. Whoo, you got to give me a break here for a minute. The whole thing is just absolutely cooking. The back of my throat is burning. I almost feel like I'm a gag reflex right now. I'm, I'm holding back. I don't want to. I don't want to gag on camera. I don't. I don't want to do that or puke. I have to cut it out. <clears throat> Ooh, man, guys, this this one's a heat, a hot one. Oh boy. Whoa. Oh man, the entire side of my tongue is throbbing. This pepper, this particular type of pepper, it's a slow heat, so when you're chewing it up, it's kind of easy to get down, but the aftertaste is kind of, that tangy aftertaste makes you want to gag. I don't think it was ripe enough. Wow. Whew. Painful. Very, very painful. I am spinning constantly because I don't want to swallow. That makes it worse. My nose is running. I feel like I want to gag. Oh my god. Whoo man. Wow, that is that is definitely hot. That is that one right there was pushing a million. That was pushing a million. My face is tingly. The, the all here feels like it's burning. Oh man. Wow. Whew. What I will say is this pepper was really had me on that verge to go. Ah! Ah! It was making me want to do that. That's what the pepper was wanting me to do a lot. That tangy aftertaste just made you just. Oh, my God. I don't know what it is with that thing, man. Holy mackerel. They shouldn't have named that pepper the puke pepper. Oh, the heat on this thing is absolutely hot. The heat has to at least be a million on this thing. Very painful. The the thing I the, the most I can the, the thing I can pronounce about this thing, the most obvious thing about it is that gag effect. Oh man, it just you don't want to play with the idea when you're gagging cuz you will heap it up. Once you start to go ah! once you start doing that, that's it. It's going to come out. Your body is going to expel it. Because now your gag reflex is taking place. And I don't want to puke it up. That's nasty. I've only puked like maybe two times from eating these peppers. And it, it's it's just... I'd rather not puke it up. I'd rather go it out the other way. And that's fine. That doesn't bother me. Puking it out bothers me a lot. Man, I'll tell you right now. The heat on this thing was definitely somewhere around a million... Whew... No head rush, no euphoria, but the, the pounding of the heat from this thing was absolutely punishing to the mouth. The back of the throat is still, it's pounding like this. Oh my God. If I stretch my neck, I could, I'm like, you know, you stretch your tonsils a little, it hurts actually. 
Oh, not caring for that too much. That gag, the gag reflex thing was the biggest thing I noticed with this, eating this pepper. Just wanted to gag from it. I don't know why, but this one made me want to just like, bleh, just not even throw up. It's not that my stomach was wanting to expel it or anything. It's just my, I just wanted to go, ah, puke, like almost. Just that feeling of doing that, you know. Oh, man. It's starting to come down a little now. The heat range was definitely in a million. I, I can't tell you if it's like 1.1 million or 980,000. You were in that million range with this thing. This thing was absolutely cooking, man. This thing was very painful. Very, very painful. One of the hottest peppers I ate this year next to the Hellfire Chili, that's for sure. All the other ones aren't too bad. They're manageable. Scorpions, you know, typical scorpions, are, you know, Bucholkias. They're manageable. The heat on those. But this thing, no, this thing's, this thing is punishingly hot, man. So if you really want to start moving up in heat, this is one of the upper end heats. This is definitely their, their peppers. Those uh, bubble gums are definitely, you know, you're like I said, you're pushing in that million range. The flavor again on it was really nice, except for that tangy aftertaste, man. It was like, I talk about spicy a lot of times, right? And when I'm re referring to spicy, I'm trying to give you an idea of that aftertaste that kind of sticks around sometimes for hours. It's it's just a latent type of spicy aftertaste that just doesn't go away no matter what you do. And this kind of has that a little bit. I'm still tasting it. Not, not so much the, the tangy part of it, though. I'm still tasting the pepper. <sighs> Wow, you know, I'm cooking is my I don't know if my face is red right here because it burns right there pretty badly. Oh I don't know if I touched my face or what, but it's still a nice pepper to eat. You really with this particular type of pepper, you really want them to ripen all the way. I don't think this was ripened in the middle. I, if it's orange in the middle but it's red outside, it's probably not fully ripe, and that's probably why I got that tangy flavor, yeah. <sighs> If you look at it really good, you can see it's still kind of like orange in the middle. It's kind of, I, I ate it kind of too early. You, you really want these, this particular type of peppers, you really want them to ripen all the way if you don't want to get that tangy gagging type of, I'll tell you what, the back of my throat is still hurting. It hurts. It actually hurts. It's not so much like stinging or anything. It feels like, like you hit it with a hammer or something. It hurts a little bit. Man, I don't know what that thing did, but it maybe it caused my tonsil to swell or something. I hurt, man. That was a that was pretty painful. I don't want to do any more of those for the rest of the year, that's for sure. That's it. That's your pod review for the Seven Pot Bubblegum Red Original. I'm gonna say original because there's a lot of other seven pots that are getting watered down and the genetics are just kind of losing it with that pepper and you're, you're going to just start getting other stuff out of it this is the original seven pot red bubble gum don't forget to like and share and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one take care Whew.